Hi there, so this quick video is about changing lanes on a dual carriageway. Lots of people worry about it when they're learning, they worry about the car behind them, they worry about what they've got to do. Um, so I'm hoping this video covers some of the points and makes it a little bit clearer what's the best thing to do. Now, before we set off, a couple of little things that'll help you to understand. When you're moving away from the side of road stationary, you do your five point check, which is blind spot, mirror, 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 right blind spot, finishing with that. That's perfect. When you're moving along the, the road, traveling at speed, and you want to change from left lane to right lane, you can't suddenly go like this. Because what's going to happen is you're not looking at the traffic very well, and you possibly swerve because you're moving all your body to check. And the same sort of thing is when you're going from the right lane to the left lane, you're not suddenly going to do that because you might turn the wheel you might not see what's happening ahead of you in that split second the car in front of you could be slowing down could be start braking so what you've got to do is is use your mirrors and do what's what i call a bit of a bit of a, a shoulder check but not a full one so here's an example yeah you, you want to change from left lane to right lane you're checking your mirrors you can see people in the right lane so you've got a good idea straight away what's going on if you want to check anyone in the blind spot just look there you know or even move forward and then look a little bit but it's a quick look it's not like a stare because but, but you don't want to do this and the same sort of thing when you're changing from the right to the left lane um, it's use that mirror on, on the left and look over your shoulder there but not completely looking over your shoulder because if you look use your mirrors pointing behind the car and you look over, over to your passenger side you can see through the side windows what's happening at the side of the car so that's what you want to be doing when you're traveling at speed changing lanes you don't want to be completely looking over your shoulders completely because it could be dangerous okay, okay then let's get some driving done and um, if we get the opportunity we're going to um, overtake on the dual carriageway if the opportunity is there so i'm just doing a left onto a single carriageway and then at the roundabout we're going to do a right turn, taking the third exit onto Buckingham, it says on the sign. Now, with um, dual carriageways, you need to know the speed limit. It's the sign there saying national speed limit, so if it's round there, it's probably going to be 70, but it might be 60, it might be lower. So, on a dual carriageway, you need to watch out for speed signs. Watch out, I tell you. It's going to wait patiently for a safe gap. So you, when you're coming off into the dual carriageway, you go to the left lane. That's the left lane for driving, right lane for overtaking. And then you're looking up the road quite far, looking at what's happening behind you. Quick checks in the mirror. That's all it takes. Now I can see ahead of me there's a roundabout, so it's not worth overtaking because if you want to go ahead, you might not be in the, the correct lane to go ahead if you overtake. So I'm just going to sit behind this truck. Now a little tip for overtaking trucks is if you're right behind one at a roundabout, when they come off the roundabout, they're going to take a while to build the speed up. So there's an opportunity to overtake them at that point when you come off. to the left lane I can see there's a blue car and a truck opportunity to overtake so I'm checking looking and I'm out now keep an eye on the truck because if he starts to indicate you've got to keep an eye on him he might try and pull out I'm going to overtake the blue car at the same time there's plenty of space ahead of me I'm checking my mirrors and I'm not going to rush back in I don't want to cut the car up so I've checked my mirror and I'm coming back in. I'm going to do a right U-turn to come back. So I'll try a bit more. Checking to my right, nice and clear. So same thing again, if the traffic's running 
at a nice speed, then fine. You don't have to overtake. And even if it's if, if the traffic's running slowly, it might be it's too crowded to overtake anyway. So it's a national speed limit again on this road. Ahead of us is a few cars and a, and a large vehicle, large HGV. So I'm checking and I'm coming out. Keep around the black car on the left in front of us because he might decide to pull out now. Check in at this point, he's not going to try it now. Going past it safely, keep the speed on. We can see the runabout in the distance, so I'm checking my mirror and I'm dropping back in. If I was closer to the roundabout, I might consider staying in the right lane and going past in the right lane because it might force the HGV to brake hard if I suddenly uh, crop pull in and I start braking hard. I'm going to follow the road ahead. So I'm taking it in third gear on this one because it's not too tricky. And I'm building my speed up again. And there's a car and another HGV ahead of us, so I'm looking nothing in the right right lane so I'm pulling out to overtake them both using the fifth gear at that point so I'm getting towards 60 miles an hour and I'm overtaking them both I'm gonna protect past this HG pretty quickly keep an eye on him though because he, he, he might want to go in the right lane to overtake someone and the same sort of thing I passed him safely there's nothing coming out of that exit or entrance and I'm coming back in bringing my speed back down. So, if there's lots of traffic in the right lane, and you've got to hold your position in the left lane, then fine. Just do quick glances of the, of the, of the right mirror if you need to. It's like here, the traffic's pulling away a little bit quicker. He's pulling into there, the white van's picking up speed. Taking into account, there's a red car on the left wanting to emerge. Now I can't go out because this car's in the right lane, but he's pulled out anyway because he's got space. So I'm off the gas a little bit, letting the traffic go past me. So he's forced that blue car on the right to brake. So it's a quick one, really, on um, changing lanes. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope it's helping you. And if it has, give it the um, thumbs up. By all means, share the video, and if you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe. Take care.